Hey, welcome back to the channel. It's been a short while since the last video. I just don't produce much content anymore. Lots going on with my two other jobs. Um, I got a cool car here to share with you and I'm glad I'm cutting this video right now because the buyer of the car is on his way here from Toronto. <laughs> so, uh, sit tight and uh, enjoy. Okay, rolling. Uh, you're looking at a 1991 Nissan Skyline R32. Uh, this is the GTS 25 variant. Uh, they came factory equipped with RB25, auto and manual uh, transaxles. This one was an auto. I did a five speed swap on it, turbocharged it as well. Uh, I did the whole body on it. Uh, had the aero kit fitted in Japan. It's a PS Deuce, Duce, depending how you, how you want to pronounce it. Um, and uh, then I fit the 32 GTR factory spec fenders. Uh, they are fiberglass and they are vented, but at the same specification as the uh, factory ones, width wise. And then uh, my friend Keiichi Hasegawa uh, did a, a fantastic job wrapping the hood. And those are the original fenders. So let's uh, have a further look at this car. Okay, pretty much plain Jane inside the car. Uh, it's got the original radio, one DIN. Um, utilize the aftermarket shift boot. I believe that's from uh, Superior Auto Creative. And then uh, I put a, I deleted the auto indicator and just uh, taped over it with some heat shield tape. And uh, yeah, I got an aftermarket steering wheel. That's a uh, Works Alto, Suzuki Works Alto steering handle. And it comes with a fancy cover. Da -da. Goes over top of that, that's kind of trick. Quirky s horn on the car of course and then uh yeah this is a cruise control car i got the hkb uh hub boss with the cruise functions and it functions perfectly so we kept that and uh no sunroof car no sunroof option on it um but really tidy in and out um the car only has twenty eight thousand on it let me check ah. It has 28,838, so let's fire it up. The hood on these 32 GTS is very heavy. Ugh. So yeah, uh, RB25 NA converted to turbo. Uh, it's got the 20 injectors, 20 Type M. Uh, engine management, uh, just and then uh, 20 uh, turbine on it. Put an upgraded told me regulator, sorry, or sorry, blitz super sound blow off valve. And then I introduced this uh, Nismo oil breather tank, it's like a replica, but it's uh, the internals of it are just like what Nismo sells, so that's kind of cool. Kept the factory rad, did a timing belt on it, introduced some intercooler piping, and then I went with the Apexy hybrid. That's a really old cooler, but they fit really well. They come equipped with really good brackets. Um, so yeah, give it a little squeeze. Yeah. Another angle of the car. Yeah, great looking aero kit. I, my favorite wheels are on it and they were sold with the car. Those are SSR type C's. I think they're 17.9 front plus 35 and the rears are 17.95 plus 40. Um, got a bit fancy with the exhaust. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit of a hybrid system. There's a one piece down pipe off the turbine uh, into the factory catalytic converter and then uh, the front section of the cat back is a blitz nurse spec and then I fabricated and customized the back half. So yeah, really happy with how this turned out. And uh, yeah, the fellow that bought it's coming to get it today. And uh, yeah, I'm a bit shocked to be honest because um, I expected this car to go to the US, but with COVID going on, I'm, uh, I'm kind of saved here, keeping the car in Canada and not having to deal with the logistics end of it. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it, I think. Yeah, so yeah, thanks for checking out the video. And I'll have some more content soon. We got two more S15s on the way. So looking forward to building them. One of them actually is having work done in Japan. Oh yeah, cool. Sit tight and uh, thanks for watching.